Assalamualaikum everyone. Today we continue with next subtopic of reproduction. Factors affecting the development of a fetus and baby. We know that fetus obtains nutrient and oxygen from the mother. So pregnant woman should have a healthy and balanced diet and take a good care of her health to deliver a healthy baby. The intake of nutrients by a pregnant woman must be balanced and contain more fiber, iron, carbohydrate and fat, vitamin C, folic acid and protein. So these are examples of food contains fiber. For example, cereal and fruits, the function is to prevent constipation. As for iron, uh, the function is uh, for formation of hemoglobin to prevent anemia. Example of food, uh, liver, this is carbohydrate and fat to provide energy for daily activities. For example, butter, rice, bread, vitamin C to, for skin health of fetus and mother and to prevent bleeding gums. Example, fruits, tomatoes. Guava. Okay, these are uh, foods uh, rich in folic acid. To, uh, it is important for the nervous system development of the fetus. Example, broccoli, groundnuts, avocado. Okay, for protein, important for the growth of new cells of the fetus. Example, meat, fish, milk, cheese, and chicken. And also, pre pregnant mother need calcium and phosphorus for a healthy formation of fetus bones and to protect the bone and teeth for the, of the mother. Example of food contain calcium, uh, anchovies, cheese, and milk. Pregnant women must not smoke, consume alcohol, and drugs. So the effect of smoking, uh, the baby may have low birth weight, higher mortality rate, the baby may become retarded and have di physical disabilities, the baby may be born premature. As for alcoholic drink, the baby may be born with fetal alcohol syndrome, Fetal development may be delayed and the brain, nervous system and the heart may be damaged. And effect of drug, fetal defect may, may occur. We also know that a newborn baby does not have teeth and cannot eat solid food. So babies depend solely on milk as their source of nutrients. Breast milk is the best for them because it is more nutritious compared to formula milk. So these are a few uh, reasons why baby need, need breast milk. Breast milk contains all the essential nutrients for a baby. It contains antibodies that can protect a baby from certain diseases. Baby who consume breast milk has better digestion compared to formula milk. And it will develop emotional relationship between the mother and baby. Next subtopic is 
between fertility and contraception. Infertility or not being able to get pregnant can happen to anyone, woman, man at any age. So factors for infertility for male are testes cannot produce sperm, important, low sperm count, produce low quality of sperm, and hormone imbalance, defective productive organs, health problem like diabetes. As for female, their ovaries cannot produce ovum, or they have tumor in the uterus, blockage in fallopian tube, and abnormal uterus. When a married couple has tried to conceive for more than a year, but they are still not successful, the couple is advised to seek medical consultation. So these are methods to overcome the sterility. One of it is in vitro fertilization or IVF. This method takes out the ovum to be fertilized with the sperm outside the body in a glass dish. The embryo form is then put inside the uterus of the mother. Okay, this is surgery. Surgery is done on women who have blockage in fallopian tube or men who have blockage in their sperm duct. And this is hormone treatment. This treatment is for individual who have imbalanced hormone. There are several methods. Uh, of contraception for married couples who wants to plan their family. So this is the first one, contraceptive pill. Contraceptive pills can prevent ovulation. Implants secrete a hormone that prevent the ovary from producing ovum. The implant is inserted to the skin below the arm. Uh, use of condoms. Condom is worn over the penis before copulation to prevent the sperm from entering the vagina during ejaculation. Intrauterine contraceptive device or IUCD. This device is inserted inside the woman's uterus to prevent implantation. Vasectomy. Is a surgery is carried out to cut the sperm duct and the two ends are then tied to prevent the sperms from being transported to the urethra. Okay. And this one is ligation. Surgery is carried out to cut the fallopian tubes. And the two ends are then tied to prevent the ovum from meeting the sperm. So that is all for this subtopic. Thank you. Bye.